Nice hat. Let it go, Helen. I'll block everything. I remind myself every day that I am blessed. A little stressed and not so well rested, but nevertheless, I am blessed. Think of all the things you have, they say. You are blessed, they remind me, and I try my best to remember this throughout my day, so I pray that they can't see through this smile painted on like that of a clown. Expected to fill these oversized shoes, so let me perfect this juggling act while the circus is in town. They do not know that I go home every day with eyelids as heavy as my heart. Every night, each hour represents a cloud of thoughts that keeps me awake. At the end of the day, my struggle starts. It's 11 p.m. and everyone is asleep. I should be too, but every night I drown in these thoughts as deep as the sea, no rescuing me from me. It's a nightly routine, you see. You can't quiet your mind when it's desperately trying to make sense of a life filled with such complexity. 12 a.m. I think back to the time I was surprised to find that the psychiatrist didn't believe I qualified for a diagnosis this time, 1 a.m. I realize that I've fallen so often that my hands are turning brown. I fall every single day and eventually I found if a young man falls in the forest and no one is around, he definitely does not make a sound. How many of us suffer in silence yet we stand tall like trees, arms like branches that can't bear the weight of a thousand leaves as friends who leave there, fed up with the ones who's always home and always too tired to leave and never in peace they are fed up. And I am too, AM. My life is the most beautiful tragedy that I ever wrote. My skeletons have turned to ghosts, my closets to graveyards where I bury the secrets that I've kept from myself. The art of getting to know thyself is no masterpiece. I massively pieced together the pieces of humanity I believe will put me back in peace. See, these nights have taught me that it's impossible to find peace when you're in pieces. So I seek completeness, but what does it mean to be whole? Our whole lives are a testament to the complexity of that question. And no, I am not suicidal, but sometimes I question, what am I living for? A.M. I can't tell which side of the graph is greener. I'm angry, so I can, I'm angry, so all I can see is red like blood on both sides of the fence, over here and up there. I'm not used to the pressure, because high as they are, these stakes are also rare. 5 a.m., I realized I had fallen asleep from 3 to 4 o'clock. I had a dream that I was normal. 6 a.m., I wonder how many others are suffering in silence at home, as if their vocal cords have lost their tone. I wonder how many of us go home preparing to go to war. Our minds become battlefields behind closed doors, but I promise you, we were born with the strength of soldiers. One in five of us are fighting the same fight. And we need more than just business and celebrity endorsements. We need to stop hiding. We need to speak up. We need to inspire our fellow human reinforcements. I think all of this in bed by myself. And I wonder when I'll get the courage to ask someone for help at 7 a.m. The sun has gone full circle, and so is my mind. It's rising, and in between the blinds, the rays are piercing through. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, they remind you. I'll try to forget that last night I was confined to only one hour of rest. Now I'll get out of bed. Armed with my favorite mask, I'll try my best to smile and blend in with the rest.